this pipe used to belong to the pipes that would hold up the net for a volleyball set. Unfortunately, some of the parts were missing, another one broke, so it's been converted into what I call a golf ball cannon. And essentially, it's the pipe that went on the very top there. So, coming down to the end, you can see the two spots where it connected to another pipe to uh, extend it up to whatever the height that it was supposed to be. And you'll notice that these two pieces of wood here uh, have a little bit of a groove down the middle of them. And that's what I find at Home Depot. They throw these out. They're part of this uh, system that uh, brings wood into the store and they throw these out all the time. So I went there, asked for a couple of them, actually a bunch of them, and got them. And you'll notice that these two here have the same thing because they're part of the same kind of system from uh, Home Depot. So basically the wood on this top part was uh, pretty much free. But the cannon sits on a base here. It's got two arms extending, the base turns. It has on the bottom there the uh, two plates which are um, separated by some ball bearings, uh, much like you'd find for a Lazy Susan. In fact, this was made for a Lazy Susan. Let's see if I can get it there. Yeah, a little bit, you can see it. So basically that's what I'm using with a bolt in the middle to hold it centered so it can turn like this. And obviously with this cut here down the side with the bolt there, we can turn it like this. Okay, so you can see there's some electrical parts of this and that's simply a laser that I uh, took out the back and kind of tore the guts out of it and uh, ran it to an 18650 battery here, which is what it ran on. And then here, installed a switch so that we can aim. See if I can find it. It's kind of chilly out here, and the laser does not like chilly. There it is. I can show it to you. It's right there. So I've sighted this laser. It took a long time before I was able to do that, and it's pretty accurate now. And we're going to be shooting this thing off in a bit here. But first I want to review how I do it and uh, the mechanism through which a golf ball gets shot out through the end because obviously you can't load it here so it's got to be loaded at the end. So here's my archaic golf ball cannon ammunition um, and I'll go through this in detail here but you can obviously see a golf ball here there's a metal pipe I've used this several times and it has been burnt over and over again and here are a couple strips of masking tape that I use to hold the golf ball on the end here that's not necessary but I do it, hold it down tight. Um, so here is the actual insides of this thing. The golf ball is here, you can see the tape here, and the golf ball itself is glued to a piece of foam here, and on the other side of that foam is a very cheap plastic, I call it a test tube, I don't know what it is, but it's around two inches long, a half inch wide, and uh, I simply drill a hole in the cap, I fill this thing with black powder, and uh, put in a fuse that comes out and sticks out the end of the tube. I'm sorry, the pipe, which you can see right on the end here, right there. Okay, if I move it, you can see it there. So essentially what I do is light that. This whole thing fits down the pipe of the golf ball cannon nicely, so it just slides back, kind of rams down on the end, and uh, it works well enough. So when this thing blows, this is confined enough that it creates enough pressure to blow the golf ball, usually with the foam which gets ripped off and the golf ball goes flying out the end really with a lot of speed, um, remarkably so. Okay, I'm out here getting the uh, golf ball cannon ready. I'm gonna turn the laser on. I sighted this, but I haven't shot it since I sighted it. We're gonna aim for the middle of that cardboard thing right there, uh, target, cardboard target, and uh, this is what we do. Take this right here, get to light it, Well, the hole wasn't quite in the center in spite of the laser being in the center of this target, but you can clearly see it went through. It put a nice dent in that wood over there, um, but uh, we're going to shoot at some other things. All right, here we go with number two. OK, 
Okay, we'll try this one more time. Missed it again. I walked up here and darn, it sure did put a hole in it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, right through it. Like so, which means the golf ball is in there somewhere. Down that hole right there. This is where the other one hit. Right here. Let's see. Oh, that's a piece of wood hanging there. Uh, and I think the second one was up here somewhere. That's my best guess. I'm going to try and dig this golf ball out right here. Uh, I won't bore you with it, though. Nice shot there, I guess. One last note about the uh, cannon here. After I uh, shoot a golf ball out, the pipe is still in there, so I just dump it like this, and it comes right out. There are the other two. And then I can just reload them and do it over again. All right.